hello and welcome to my channel my name's Julie I'm I'm going to share with you how to make um, the telephone box um, I've made three of these and this is this is my die set and um, I purchased this one off of um, I'll get my words out in a minute from the kit um because i i um dip in and out of the kit i have a um one-off kit or whatever um so this is the kit um but if you would like a telephone box um tonic have now got them for sale on their website so here's all the dies that you would be getting in that die set um, okay um, so you get uh, two uh, two panels what um, one makes a door opening and one doesn't um, this bit here is to cover up all your windows if you don't want windows in um, uh, uh, you can see this makes your base this makes the top this is a locking mechanism here and these are um, your glue tabs and whatnot um, yeah but you'll see you'll see um, I have used because it was with the kit you did get a stamp set so I will tease you just because it has got telephone there but obviously you could take you could go into um, like a graphics program and print out the word telephone and I actually wrote on mine because um, I'm going to be making a police box a famous blue one um, I wrote that on um, because I have got um, a program, but my ta um, my laptop hasn't got a disk drive anymore, so I need to um, get an um, external disk drive so I can access some of my disks. Um, but the first one I made was um, this one, which is um, with acetate windows in. You know, like the old-fashioned telephones, and I done it with. Um, I put like a little shelf in, and I've made myself a little couple of telephone directories, and this little um, telephone is um, um, is what my mum had collected. So it's a little brass telephone, and that just sits. I think this is made out of um, grey board, and I've just coloured it black. Yeah, so that's how I done that one, and the top just lifts off. But you can do it several ways. This box, so that's that. That's the first one I done. That's what I made when my kit arrived, and then just recently I've um, done this one. You'll have to excuse the telephone one because I'm sorry, but um, well I've just put vellum in all the way round, and the lid comes off, and. Um, yeah, you can. I did put um, a little uh, battery operated tea light in there so it could become a lantern as well. So it's up to you. And then the third one I done was this one. And um, I did make a little modification to the top because the police boxes did have a flat top, not a curved top. and so that's what I've done with that one and um, and on the little windows I didn't um, put it in because I thought it was too much faffing but they would have had little um, lines coming down here for like little panes of um, glass but I mean that's simple to draw on you could draw that on if you wanted and I just wrote like police box um, because when I looked it was like black and then uh, white writing on the top so that's what I've done for there so I've gone ahead I've cut out all my bits um, 
so you need two of these pieces which is the base I've kept them like that and I like to it says only glue like the smaller tabs but I like to glue all the way around don't ask me why I just do it so um, let's just see so this is the this is the piece that I've modified as well that would cover the whole of um, that but I've just um, I didn't measure it I just held it up and sort of made a little nick in my card where I thought I needed it to be and um, just cut it down and so I like my um, nice side facing that way because it's going to be on show and this is the raw edge side and then I've got another little piece and I haven't measured this either I've just um, you can see I've just measured a little bit well didn't measure it I held it up cut what I thought I, I needed and done it like that so I've done like three and I've put um, my glue tabs on as well so you can see there's all those um, so we'll just glue these panels on oh, put my glasses on so I can see what I'm up to so I like to use the um, because you haven't got much to um, much area to glue I like to use the fine nozzle And um, I'm, I like to make it as, as authentic as I can, you know, when I'm making replicas or something. Um, now. I like this, uh, I don't suppose it, yeah, I think I like this straight edge to the top because I've I've trimmed off with my scissors and oh, I'm not very good at doing straight. So I just come, I'm trying to do half and half. So I've got a little bit there to put my vellum onto and then just go along the edge there. Let's just have a look, make sure I haven't got too much glue. Show it. Oh dear, that's uh, that's all right. Right. You can always slip a little bit of um, paper underneath if it hasn't taken or whatever. I found one when I was um, prepping a little while ago. I thought it had glued, and it hadn't, so I had to go back over with it. Some glue. Because these bits are thin here, and just put um, this on here. Just to make it look like panes of glass, really. In the town where I live, well, they, I take, I, I take it is still there. We used to have, well, I'm, I'm saying we used to. Um, we got one of these boxes um, in the town, so uh, yeah, they're still about. What's that white bit on there? Is that from the pen? Looks like it, doesn't it? Just get that little bit of glue off of there. And these um, are your long uh, glue tabs. And you need to bring your glue tab so it's in line with the um, base and right up to the edge okay so I'm going to swap nozzles over that reminds me I think I was thinking about getting a another glue out let's just see Oh, 
that's coming out, that's all right. Probably because I'll give it a good shake. <laughs> Just a little picker outside. <laughs> we um got green woodpeckers locally. I love this time of year because you hear all the birds singing. It's lovely. Right. That's done. That's done that. That showed you that little bit of modification. So um, you can do different things. Right. The other thing is I, um, I cut out these. And these are what you put around the top. Let me just get my, um, is that my little, yeah with that so I cut these out and what I've done is I've made myself an extra score line and bent them over and then we're going to put um, another piece of card on top so that's going to be the glue tab so I'm just going to do this one where's this scoreboard um, so I've got my trimmer I'll get out the way. So I like to um, let me just see. Hold on, I need to move my tool thing so I can get it. else yay that's better isn't it so i like to um get this uh, glue tab lined up there try not to move it get a small bottle or I've got my scorer, but it's in my cup over there. So. And just run your bottle down. And then you've made yourself another little glue tab then. Like so. Is that on? Oh no, that I thought that was because I've been using a white gel pen. I think keep thinking I've got like pen everywhere, but and then we're going to put our little um, police box on. Excuse my handwriting. Another tip is if you've got um, let's move that out of the way. Oh, yeah, I've done it like that because it wasn't wide enough, but if you've got it wide enough to come down <clears throat> cut that little um this little piece out and then give yourself cut it out so it's like that and then the next bit down write your police box in and then um cut it out because um, i found it quite difficult to write on after i've cut it out I think my paper goes, it was just a piece of off cut that one, so I think um, it wasn't all the same width all the way down, so I thought oh, I'll, I'll cut it out first and then that's a little tip because then you, your card slips and slides all over the place whilst you're trying to write. So you will need to um, centralise this a little bit because it is supposed to be up a bit, a little bit, but it doesn't really notice much. Okay, so that's those done. So, we cut out four of those. I've done those. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four of those. Um, yeah. 
eight of these, four of the long ones. Now, that's it. I've got this. This is my wrong side. Okay. This is my good side because when you take the lid off the box off, it's going to be showing the good side. All right. So I just want two, not three. That goes over there. Um, it probably does tell you um, instructions because um, in the kit which mine come from um, there was a little instruction leaflet and once you get to know where everything goes it, they, these little boxes don't take long to make the last one. Oh, poo bum. <laughs> I've been and put that on the wrong side, ain't I? Let's quickly get that off. Make me stick it on there. It, it needs to go that way. Ah. That's because it's dark card, isn't it? I couldn't. Good job that hadn't taken too much. Let me see. That's it. That, that doesn't show too much. I think whoever's opening whatever they've got inside is not going to be too worried, are they? Do the last one. Now, I like to um, glue these all together and then um, put some glue around that and just slide it over. That's, that's what I like to do. But you might find it easier by just sticking it one on at a time. Going up to the um, there's a little score line there.
we need a London taxi cab now. I've got a bus on on order. That's um coming soon, hopefully. Oh, excuse me. And then we're just going to do the last one. Then what I like to do is just bend these little tabs back. Just and then we're gonna put glue around there, slide that down in there. And then just um, bring it level, because it's dark card, you can't really see too much. Bring it level with um, your top of it, your bottom of your box, and then just pinch it together. Oop. So that's it. So it's just this one. That's it. There you go. So you won't see. If you've got any glue up the top there you won't see because you're going to bend these ones back over and then you're going to bring this one over on the top and that's made your little closure for that box i did think about finding a little bead or something to um a little blue bead but i don't think i've got any to put on the top because the ones I were I was looking at images of um, police boxes and uh, I don't think I've got any little blue beads you know like we've all got like you know different things haven't we so it's up to you all depends who you're giving it to as well I mean if, if you've got children then you want to give it to a child then obviously just leave it plain because um, I'm sure they would all like the famous doctor. Right, so that's our lid for our box. I was just looking for these pieces now. I think I pulled this. Okay. We're just going to this, this is the base so you cut two of this and it does tell you in the instructions um, to use the two smallest I didn't know um, that's what it said in my instructions I didn't know whether that was um just use the two but you've done four because each each panel would have like two wouldn't it so I don't know but I'm gonna go I, I'll go around and glue makes it 
makes it more sturdy. And I like to do it black. I don't know why. I've got this thing about um, they were black inside, but to be honest, I think they were grey. <laughs> it's such a long, long time in this country, anyway. Um, we had like really red telephone boxes when I was growing up and, and then they went to those um, flimsy when I call them flimsy flimsy looking glass ones and now you're lucky if you'll find one of those because everybody carries their phone in their pocket now don't they and they get vandalised if they're still about oh. They were most, um, what's that one sticking there? This, oh, it's not there, is it? I've moved it out of there. Went through each for my tools over there and it, I moved it, didn't I? So, wasn't there. It's like, it's a, um, in this country we've got places called like a, a boot fair and um, I see it and um, I thought, oh, that would do me for my desk. So it's supposed to be to put your TV and remotes in. And I thought, oh, that'd be just right for putting my tools in on my desk. So, yeah, that's what I, that's what I found. And it only cost me a pound. <laughs> so, um, right. Did I put those on? Yeah. So now we need to um, put on these little pieces. Told you it was quick, didn't I? And that's going to come there like that, down there. So we're just going to glue those on. I always seem to get myself in a muddle, I don't know why. Take it to the edge, like so. That's the one. Marvellous thing glasses, if you remember to put them down over your eyes so you can see what you're doing. Right. That's done that one. So. Sorry, I should have thought that blue is not 
dark blue and black is it's very hard to see on camera isn't it should have one more somewhere that one Trying to bring it as close as you know to the edge. Stick down, that's it. So now we're going to um, glue these together and we want those as close to the edge as we can, you know, right up to the corner. I think the important bit is to keep um, this bottom piece lined up. They do tend to slide about as well. Sure, that's lined up there. Now we're going to do this one. I was going to, because all these little rectangles um, do fall out, and uh, I was going to place them back in and. When I looked, I thought um, it looked better and um, it looked more recessed like it does on like the real one, so I, I decided to leave them off. But it's up to you. If you want to put them back in, you do that. And also, you could... Um, put some um get a black pencil and just make it a little bit darker as well along there along one side if you wanted our last our last side oh I must say that the next two um, squares are slightly smaller so you get um, two and they are oh, excuse me they do look the same size but they're not I'll get them out for you in a minute I'll just get this glued on And you can just get your fingers down into give a um, push the glue tabs on. And that's it. 
Right, let's just um, show you these um, squares. Uh, the phone boxes. So they're on the same sheet. That's my little instructions. So one. This one would be for this one because if you think about it it's got to be a little bit bigger to go over the top okay and the cut line is on the inside this one is a little bit smaller and the cut line is to the outside and that gives you that square okay and that's that one because mine like I say I bought mine when it was in the um, kit but um, it is for sale on tonic site now if you'd like one right I'm gluing this now so I've cut two of these out I'm just going to go around the edge just get my um, thing out my creaser out, my ironing thing out because it, it is good that, I, I do like it. And what I do is, I put the side that I haven't got any glue on, let it drop. And can you see, I let it drop down to the bottom, get my, um, where are we, get my craft pick and just lift it forwards. down get my not bad <laughs> let's just give it another crease another good old press in there And then you can um, put some glue on there and I find it is easy I know it's going to be covered up by the um, base but because you've got all the ridges on there I find um, this is a flat surface and um, it just sticks nicer to the bottom it's a more even um, surface so this onto here. See, I haven't got the ridges of your um, glue tabs up here to. And then we're going to stick these two together. It goes a certain way round, I think. Or I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably just guessing. <laughs> and then you can put your lid on and that's how you make your police box there make sure it's all tucked in that's it okay they make nice little boxes How deep that is. Hmm. 
the rule has gone on holiday. I can't see it either. Mm. Oh, so I can't even measure it. Oh well. Never mind. It's quite, it's fairly deep anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, hopefully I'll see you again real soon. Be bringing back some more goodies, no doubt. Bye-bye for now.